All right, everybody, buckle up because we are diving deep today. And uh, when I say deep, I mean like way down the rabbit hole deep. Down the rabbit hole we go. We're talking Scientology, but not the Scientology you hear about every day. Oh, no. This is next level intergalactic spaceships and aliens kind of stuff. Sounds intriguing. You sent in some, let's just say creative sources. And honestly... I am here for it. So let's do this thing, you and me, let's break it down. Okay, so the big claim here, the one that really jumps out, is about this guy, Davey Mismanage. Says he can talk to, wait for it, Zinu's dad. Zinu's dad, now that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Right, as if Zinu wasn't wild enough on his own. But it gets better. Apparently, dear old dad has a name, Glarzok. And let me tell you, Glarzok is not too happy with how his son turned out. Galactic daddy issues. This is new. So who is this Glarzok? What's his deal? Okay, so, strap in. According to this source, Glarzok is uh, kind of a big deal. We're talking ruler of a whole galactic quadrant. Which, like, can you imagine the LinkedIn profile on that guy? Seeking challenging leadership role. Experienced in managing billions of star systems. Strong conflict resolution skills, a plus. Exactly. Though, I guess, in this case, the conflict is your son unleashing some questionable life choices on a whole other planet. Right, because it's not just the impressive job title. It sounds like Glarzok is carrying some serious baggage. Galactic guilt, they call it. He apparently feels responsible for all of the, shall we say, less than stellar things that have happened here on Earth thanks to Xenu and Scientology. Okay, hold on galactic guilt like he feels bad that his son basically invented according to the source scientology that's what they're claiming yeah see they're connecting it back to l ron hubbard saying he was channeling xenu so glarzok sees scientology as a direct result of his son's actions and he's eaten up with guilt about it it's a lot of cosmic shoulda coulda wouldas i'd imagine wow that's a lot of pressure so what's a galactic ruler with a serious case of buyer's remorse supposed to do nuke earth from orbit Start a galaxy-wide support group for parents of supervillains. Well, according to your source, Glarzak's not going for the quick fix. He's more into, let's call it cosmic diplomacy. Mm. Instead of force, he's using Davy Mismanage as a mouthpiece to try and expose Scientology from the inside. So kind of like a benevolent puppet master situation. Kind of. But instead of strings, he's using, and I quote, galactic frequencies to get his message across and, you know, help humanity evolve. Okay, galactic frequencies. Now we're getting into some real sci-fi territory. Is that like space Wi-Fi for enlightenment? Do I need to upgrade my router? Honestly, who knows with this stuff? But it is interesting to think about how real frequencies like radio waves and light actually affect us. We're bathed in them constantly, and they influence everything from our technology to our biology. True. I mean, we can't see Wi-Fi, but we know when it's down. Exactly. So who's to say there aren't other frequencies out there, ones we don't fully understand yet, that could be influencing us in ways we haven't even imagined? Whoa. Mind blown. Okay, so we've got this picture of a super powerful but kind of regretful space emperor trying to fix his kid's mess by beaming good vibes to Earth through some random dude named Davey. Pretty much. It's a lot, I'll grant you. But, you know, even if we take the alien stuff with a grain of salt, it does bring up a real issue that's way more down-to-earth cults. The source lumps Scientology in with other mind control groups, and that's a topic that always gets people talking. Absolutely, and it's important to be careful with labels like cult, which can be subjective and even damaging. But I think this source, even if unintentionally, opens a door for a really important conversation about how cults operate, why people join them, and the warning signs that someone might be under undue influence. That's relevant whether you believe in Glarzak or not. For sure. So where does this all leave us? Intergalactic emperors, cosmic guilt trips, mind control, good vibes from space. It's a lot to process. Yeah. What do you think our listeners should take away from all of this? I think it comes down to this. When we come across extraordinary claims, like the ones we've discussed today, it's a chance to flex our critical thinking muscles. What would it take for you to believe something like this? What kind of evidence would convince you? And maybe even more importantly, what is it about these kinds of stories that capture our imaginations in the first place? We humans have always been drawn to the unknown, to seeking explanations for the world around us. And sometimes exploring those out there ideas, even if we approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism, can lead us to some pretty fascinating insights. Well said. And who knows, maybe there's a Glarzok out there beaming us good vibes as we speak, or maybe not. Either way, it's been a wild ride. Until next time, keep those sources coming and keep asking those big cosmic questions.